Many look forward to the Yuletide as a season for renewed hope and to bring good cheer. And for troops of the Nigerian army deployed to Yobe State, that's exactly what they need, even if just to temporarily take their mind off the front line. Fighting the Boko Haram insurgency means they can't be with their families at this time. Still, it's a season to celebrate, and the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Brutai, is showing some love to the troops of the 27th Special Task Force Brigade in Buniyadi, hosting them to a Christmas luncheon. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, rather than sit to eat together, food packs are shared. There's also a message of hope from the Army Chief, reassuring them of necessary support to successfully conduct their operations. Let me reassure you of our commitment to the welfare of all officers and men of the Nigerian Army. We will continue to reevaluate the welfare packages of the Nigerian Army to ensure they meet the best standards and practices internationally. It's been a decade since troops were deployed to the northeast region to liberate communities from the stronghold of terrorists. Yobe State is one of those that has suffered the effects of the violence and the state government applauds the army for its work. I ask you all to not lend in your efforts until Yobe State and the entire North is secured. Let me restate the commitment of this administration to support troops of Operation Lapia Dole with the logistics within the available resources of the state to tackle the Boko Haram insurgency. It seems the same kind of love is being spread by the Chief of Air Staff, Air Commodore Sadiq Abubakar, who is also visiting his officers and men in the Northeast region. The Air Chief is marking this year's Christmas with men of the Air Task Force, the Air Component of Operation Lafayette Dole in Bornu State, where he declared that the newly acquired platforms and equipment will change Air Force operations in the coming year. For us in the Air Force, every time we have an additional air asset, it's something we celebrate, uh, you know, and uh, we use air assets to fight. So we are very excited that the federal government has uh, 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 released quite a number of these platforms into the service inducted. And we are hoping that uh, we should be able to address uh, these problems. Meanwhile, the Bornu Deputy Governor, Omar Kadafo, assures the Air Force of the state government support. As far as we are concerned, we reiterate our commitment as a government and I know we are trying hard to see that we burn state and the whole north is secured inshallah. The war against terror is not over and because the army and the Nigerian Air Force complement each other's efforts to combat terrorism, such visits from their chiefs will be cherished by the troops as a morale booster to get them going again once they get back to the front line.